When I see an athlete come into my office, I try to get them to buy into what their diagnosis is and try to get them to understand that I'm there not to keep them out of the sport, but to get them back as soon as possible. I'm on their side. So as a, a former athlete, I can relate not only to the obvious part, and that's the injury, but the very complicated uh, aspects of the athlete's pain, uh, the pressures they may be undergoing, the need to get back and be competitive, because these kids are under a tremendous amount of pressure uh, to get back out and play. I think I've always kind of known that I wanted to play in college. I didn't know what level, and I was coached by Cesar Maza, and I used to do Friday things with him, and we'd work out or whatever, and we'd do some volleyball skills and just work on that. And he told me, he was like, I think you can play D1. And I was like, oh, sweet. So then I just was like, that was my goal. And I had a few D1 schools contact me, and I contacted a ton of schools, just a bunch of them. I sent everything to everybody. And uh, I got some word back, which was awesome. And I was super excited about it. And then I had some D2 schools too. And then I just, I chose between those ones. I, then I spoke to like a certain like five, I think it was. And that was it. I, I knew a girl who played for the same club that I play on, who went to Western. And in my head, in the back of my head, like you said, I wanted to go to Michigan State or Western. So I used to YouTube videos about them all the time. And I just spent hours watching videos. I was kind of nerdy, but I loved it. And um, the coaches actually coach at West, or, or at the Western coaches coach DFFO. So they were like at my practices all the time and I'd get super nervous. I'd be like, ooh, they're right there. <laughs> but it was, it was really cool. And then once I emailed them and they started contacting me and talking to me, I was like, this is real, this is happening. And then I went on a unofficial visit and I love the coaches. I know them pretty well. And I met a lot of the players and I am actually pretty good friends with some of them, which is awesome. It's awesome. It's like the hard work finally paid off. You know, this was my goal and I got there with the help from a bunch of amazing coaches. Kathy and Bill are awesome. All the club coaches I've had, or I've had. It's been really great. I'm just gonna go in, do the best that I can and hopefully, hopefully play. <laughs> I just go into each practice every day thinking I need to get 1% better. And that's helped me tremendously. I've grown emotionally, um, physically, and I do lots of off the court stuff. The amount of hours that I have put in that people don't know about it is what makes you a really good player. And that's what I've done. I've just done so much that I haven't had to do, but I've done it anyways, which I think they take notice of that. So they are always at practice, it's one thing at a time, one point at a time, one play at a time, one game at a time, you know? And they pay so much attention to details, and I think that's what makes us, what makes that volleyball program so good. And they have something new every day. And that's helped me, and I've learned so much. And I hopefully want to go into coaching, and if I coach, I hope to be like them, because they're so smart, and they like, they have, like, you can ask for your stats, and they're like, boom, got it, what do you want? Like, what do you want to know? It's, it's really cool. It does. I mean, it was exciting, like hearing from them every once in a while and then being like, yeah, we're still interested. But now that I know, I feel like I, I can just play, you know? And there were always those worries in the back of my head when I was playing, like who's watching me, what's going on? And now I can just give it 100% every single game, which I did before, but now it's even, even more. I just love live also. <laughs> I think we're gonna be really good um, each year. We're always the underdogs, I guess, or these past few years, since the big Brooke, Brooke Howard and Alexis and all them left, we were supposed to be bad. And when we weren't, people were like, whoa. And that's, that's coaching, that's us being the athletes that we are, being able to learn and take in what they're telling us. And I think each year, no matter who's on the team, we're gonna be good. So, especially having Megan coming back, she's really good. And we have a few freshmen that are coming and coming and they're really good too, so. 